This place is the original. It's in an old house down a tiny alley. The grandma's cooking food. Tons of traditional dishes. Let's eat. So I'm actually leaving Hanoi soon, in a few days. And I've only got time for a few more places to check out, meals that I have to have before I leave Hanoi. And I was trying to think of where do I want to go. So a few weeks ago, I was nearby. We strolled down this tiny little alley. We find this little like, it's literally in like a residential home. So we have a meal here. It turns out to be one of the best meals I've ever eaten in Vietnam. So I had to come back one more time before we leave. So this place is called Cam Le. So we've ordered a few different things and we'll try it. We'll see what it looks like when it comes out. So we ordered a few different dishes. It took about three minutes for everything to come. We've got pit call, braised pork. We've got suan chung not, sweet and sour ribs. Bò lắc lạc is uh, like a stir fried beef and vegetables and tit zang which is like a fried fried pork crispy pork kind of some vegetables big bowl of rice big bowl of soup so this whole place has a very like vietnamese family very traditional meal it doesn't feel like you're eating at a restaurant let's eat this is my favorite Look at the size of this bad boy. A little juice. Mm. So soft. Has such a good texture, such a good flavor. Okay, what's next? That's um. Really good. So this is more of like a grilled pork, so it has a little bit different flavor. Try the ball look like some carrots. Mm -hmm. So the suan ribs has big pieces of pineapple in there. All right, let's get a little nibble. Okay, so all four winners, delicious. Again, we are struggling to finish the meal. So when the plates come out, you get a bunch of little dishes and each dish is really small. It doesn't look like a lot of food but we're not gonna finish it all. One clear winner, and that's gonna be the hit call. This bad boy here is like the perfect bite of meat. Just super soft, braised, lovely pork. So good. There's one thing on the table that I haven't talked about yet. I wonder if anybody knows what this is. So you see this at a lot of like real Vietnamese style places. Usually it's just on the table already or you get a bowl of it for free. But I never try it. But finally I looked it up to see what it is. Ooh. Ooh. So I don't love that, but it's interesting. It's like this tiny little white vegetable, but it's actually an eggplant. So it's like a pickled white eggplant ball and like a spicy, sour vinegar, very strong flavor. I think it's probably good for clearing your palate between meals. It really like wipes out, <laughs> wipes out whatever taste you had in your mouth. So yeah, interesting. So overall, incredible meal. Super highly recommend this place if you want a real Vietnamese style meal. If you come to Hanoi, of course, you're gonna wanna try bún chả, bang mi, and whatever. But if you want a real Vietnamese feeling kind of traditional meal, this is a good spot. Come late. There's a few spots around Hanoi. I think at least three, maybe four 
restaurants. But I'll put the address for this place. This is the most kind of local, feel like you're at grandma's house kind of restaurant. So we'll get the bill. I think every, everything is pretty cheap. So let's see what the bill looks like. All right, so we finished up, just paid the bill. $210,000, so $8 for four or five different dishes, two drinks, so eight bucks for two people. Ridiculously awesome lunch. So that's another reason I love this place, super cheap. Um, look at Gumble. It's just down this alley. It's literally just somebody's house and super awesome restaurant. Okay, now it is summertime in Hanoi. It's absolutely blazing outside. So we have to get some dessert. So I'm gonna go take you to my favorite dessert you can get in Hanoi. Let's go check it out. So we've arrived. This is my favorite dessert spot on a hot day in Hanoi. It is Kimba. So this is coconut ice cream with like blended avocado and coconut flakes on top. It's so good. So nice and cold. The ice cream is sweet, but the avocado is not. So it together mixes, it's not too sweet at all. So I actually got here, I was so wanting to eat one of these, I ordered one, finished it already, forgot that I was supposed to be making a video about it. So this is my second one, but that's okay. Dip, get some of the avocado. Maybe you don't think avocado works, with ice cream, I'm telling you it does. It's perfect. Okay, so that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Gum Le, super awesome, traditional Vietnamese lunch spot. Kimba, best dessert for a hot day. This is probably gonna be my last food video in Hanoi. After four years, I'm moving to Da Nang. So once I get there, I don't know anything about it. I'm gonna go out and find places and I'll be discovering them for the first time. So lots of new videos to come up about that. For now, thanks for watching. Catch you next time. Peace.